Hi folks, Matthew here, doing a quick video to show how you connect a DPC-5 to a DPC-8 Easy Gen 3. So in most setups, the DPC-5 will be the MIDI master. It will handle the initial audio input, input here, loops, output, control of the MIDI devices, and then the ADZs will act as loop expanders. So input goes here in the top black jack, loops one through four, loops five through eight. This is an insert for a volume pedal or an always on effect. And then the main out comes out here on this black jack near the USB port. So to, to connect these two, the first thing we have to do is tell the ADZ to use the correct MIDI channel. And the way we do that is with our auto config procedure. So connect the ADZ and the DPC-5 using a standard MIDI cable. If you have more than one ADZ, I would recommend you do this one at a time. Connect one, perform this procedure, and then connect the other one and do it. Okay, so they're both plugged in with MIDI cables. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the ADZ and we're gonna hold the A button, the L1, L5 mute button, while we plug it in. So plug it in and hold this button down and watch this LED, it should blink. So we're in this blinking state. This means it's waiting for a message to tell it how to configure itself. So the DPC-5 will send that message. And all we have to do is make sure they're connected with MIDI and then power it on. And this should scroll the serial number, sorry, the firmware version, 104F, and this light should blink and we should be in good shape. So let me show that one more time just so you can catch it. So power this guy on and hold the right button and you can see the green light above the A is blinking and we just power this guy on and off. So as this goes through its score routine, if you watch over here, you should see this blink now and we're good to go. Now, the way you can test this is if you hold the left button on the ADZ until you're in this red mode, so hold it and release it, hold it and release it until you see the red, and now on the P mode, change presets. You should see the LEDs blink and you should see the presets change. And then if you hold the mode button on the DPC-5, that takes you into MIDI mode, go to the A mode, and if you push these buttons here in the A mode, the, the left and right buttons, you should see no activity on the DPC ADZ. If you see activity, which looks like this, I'll show you again, this is activity, you can see everybody blinks, then the auto config didn't work and you should try it again. Generally this works. There are some versions of DPC-5 firmware that do the auto config in the wrong order. So if you're having problems and you can't get it to update, I would recommend updating the firmware on the, on the DPC-5 with the one that's on the website. Uh, or if you have access to a beta version, you can use that as well. Okay, so how do I make all this stuff work once I've got it set up? Well, there's one more thing that you should do if you're using the DPC-5 as the MIDI master, and that is to disable the MIDI mode on the ADZ. The ADZ can act as the MIDI master, but it's a little primitive and it gets in the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna power up and hold the D button at the same time. So we'll hold the D button, power up, hold the D button, and now we should be in this setup state where this is blue and there's a bunch of different configurations that, that we can do here, but um, if you tap this D button here, you should see blue, green, blue and green, and off. What we want is off. So just tap this until it says they're both off, right? Ignore everything else, and then hold the D button. And that will disable the MIDI mode on the ADZ. Generally, you don't have to worry about this, but if you have MIDI devices downstream, this will conflict with the message the DPC-5 is sending. So if, if you've got DPC-5, ADZ, ADZ, timeline big sky that will definitely mess things up so turn it off okay now that we've got everybody set up the adz has a couple of different modes this blue and green one lets you turn the loops on and off manually so this is loops one through four and then when you tap it and it goes green now it's five through eight and you can see you can have them all on at the same time it doesn't really matter whatever you like so there's everybody off and then we have this red, yellow, and purple mode, and that's the preset mode. With the DPC-5 as the master, you won't really need to worry about this. So my 
suggestion would be leave it in the blue green mode and that way it's always a loop strip you can always get to your loops so how do i save a preset well we have instructions on how to do that on the dbc5 it's fairly simple you can select your midi devices you hold the, the mode button here l1 or d and you pick what you want you can turn it on or off like this and if you have more devices you have a b device you can set the midi that you want whatever you want and this is the looper mode so we've selected a 01 a b 02 a c 00 c and if you hold it again you'll be in the foot mode and in the foot mode you can turn on the loops and you can turn on as many loops as you want. So loops one and two, fine. And now on your ADZ, let's say you also want loops three and six. There's your loops. Okay, so we got everybody set. What do we do now? Well, you can go back to preset mode and you can hold the save button on the ADZ. You can see the purple light is blinking here and we'll go, so you save here first, ADZ first and then go on the DPC-5 and you pick your destination. So say I want to save in 00B, I would just hit B and that'd be okay, 00B. Or maybe I want to save in 00A, that's fine too. Whatever you want to do, we'll try A. And then once you've picked your destination, you just hold the button to save and you can see this does a light show and this saves. And now if we go to B, there's no loops on. If we go back to A, I get loops one and two and loops three and six. And you just repeat this for all your loops. If you go into the MIDI mode, you can actually see we have our 1A, 2A, 0C, our MIDI settings saved as well. So everything on both controllers gets saved to the same preset. Anytime you're in this preset mode and you go somewhere else, you come back to A, it's gonna be these loops, one and two, and then three and six on. It'll always be the same until you change it. If you have two DPC ADZs, then hold save on both of them at the same time, one and then the other, and then save on the DPC-5 as the master, and that will result in all the changes being saved for all three devices. So let's do that again. We're gonna save in, in preset B. So we're gonna go to the MIDI mode, and we're gonna turn off A, turn off B, and we're gonna set C to 3B. Leave it on, cool. Now in the loop mode, I only want loop five on. That's it only loop five and I'll go back to the main mode now on my other loops let's say I want I only want loops four and one on so one and four okay so I have one and four and five hold save here hold save here and I want to save that in zero B there's B so I just selected B and I'm gonna hold save and if you watch here and here at the same time we'll see save save and Crazy light show, done. Now, the loop settings on the controller may not update right after you save, but if you go away from it and come back, now we have loop five, one, and four. There you go. If we go to our MIDI mode, you can see that A is off, B is off, and C is set to three B, exactly as we saved it before. So that's it in a nutshell. The basics are make sure that you configure both units correctly, if you're having a hard time configuring, if the auto configuration doesn't work, or if the ADZ responds in both the A and the P mode, update the firmware on the DPC-5. I know that version 1.04F works. I'll make sure it's included in uh, the description so you can see it. And then once everything's configured, follow the steps as outlined in this video, make your changes on each unit, save on the ADZ first, and then Pick your destination and save on the DPC-5. It'll send a save command over MIDI and the ADZ will follow it along. You'll get a nice visual indication with the LEDs that everything is saved and you should be good to go. If you've got any questions, send me an email, support at disasterareadesigns.com. Always happy to help. Uh, if you need anything, let us know. Thanks for watching.